Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And I'm back with the first impression on the new ColourPop palette. And so I thought I'd go ahead and get started. I uh, first went ahead and used the Glow Oil by Supergoop as my primer. This one has an SPF of 50 in it. And then I did go ahead and use the ColourPop uh, Pretty Fresh. And this is their tinted moisturizer. I mixed 8N and 4N together to go ahead and get the um, uh, foundation coverage or color that I'm looking for. And um, let's see, what else did we do here? It's all ColourPop today. Um, I went ahead and used the Get Sandy Bronzer from ColourPop. It's a putty bronzer. And so that's what I have on there. And then as far as blush, uh, this is one of the new blushes that you can get at Ulta or on the ColourPop website. I think these are at Target as well. But this one is Papaya. And so that's what I went ahead and did for the blush. And I went ahead and used the Flexitarian um, as far as the highlighter on it. So that's what I have on there. And then um, for eyebrows, I did use the NYX Thick It Stick It. This one's in Cool Ash Brown. And um, the Maybelline Sky High uh, for the mascara. So that's what I have on there. Oh, and as far as the lips, I went ahead and used the ColourPop. Uh, this is the Minute Man um, lip liner. And I went ahead and put the um, So Glassy Epiphany with it. And that's what that ended up being there. So yeah. Um, really haven't I got it, some of the lippy pencils and I've never really been a lippy person or lippy pencil kind of person and now I'm starting to wonder why I didn't try them earlier kind of thing but this one's from ColourPop as well so uh, that's what I have on the lips so that's uh, sort of where the where it is and then uh, going ahead and talking about the new palette and uh, they did it again. They took what you would think to be an ordinary, you know, color story and then did it up ColourPop style. And it turned into a new, a new color story, a new beast of its own, a new something or other. It's pretty cool. It's um, a very warm is what I should say. Smoke and really fits it. It's going to be golds and oranges and browns and purples, um, burgundies and plums and just a whole, uh, a whole warm palette. And I just think it's pretty amazing. I, I'm in awe of it. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do, but I am completely in awe of it. And it's, I haven't seen anything like it. So I think it's pretty pretty awesome. Uh, what I did today was I started with this in the outer corner and then I did this orange um, on the lid itself. Um, I did a little bit of this orange over um, on the lid as well so um, it's closer to the inner corner and then the inner corner I went ahead and used the gold and I went ahead and used this one again for the eyeliner and this is a really pretty plum color down here. Um, like I said, I've never seen anything really like it before and it's warm but it takes, it It just goes hot warm and yeah, it's pretty exciting with all the reds and the oranges and uh, the purples and the burgundies and it just, wow. So anyway, this way that the eye look turned out. And I, I really haven't been a fan of the color stories like uh, Bare Necessities or Getting Fresh. They just really s seem to be really neutral and that's not necessarily where I go most of the time. So to find something like this that has a lot of neutral colors in it, but so many of... Um, so many really saturated, really pretty colors as well. And I just, yeah, it's totally different than, and I got it because it's totally different. Um, and I think it's going to be an amazing addition 
to my collection and um, I'm really enjoying wearing it and having something that's you know so much different so um, anyway I guess that's my first impression I guess I'm kind of out of words and um, anyway I think it worked out really good and I'll go ahead and see you later bye